for the given problem, we have a positive positive Q charge at origin here. Here is the Y axis, and this is the our X axis. There is another charge minus 2Q at the distance A from a positive Q here, which is lying at origin. Um, so this is a part A. We are asked to show this. For a part B, for X greater than A, we can write a V is simply V Q, uh, KQ divided by X minus 2KQ divided by X minus A. Uh, the total potential at any point is algebraic sum of the potentials of the two charges. Um, then we can write V potential will be equal to summing up this minus K. So this is V. Uh, KQ X plus A divided by X into X minus A um, for X greater than zero and X less than A. Then our potential V will be KQ divided by X minus 2KQ divided by A minus X. This will be KQ 3X minus A divided by X into X minus A. X less than zero, V will be minus KQ divided by X plus 2kq divided by x minus a. This is equal to kq x plus a divided by x into x minus a. The general expression valid for any y, any y, uh, is v is equal to kq divided by mod of the x minus 2q divided by x minus a mod. Part C of the problem, the potential is zero. Zero at uh, x is equal to minus a and a over three. Part D, uh, the graph for v versus x is given by, uh, so following plot, here we have a v, this is x, so here's the v. The potential will fall from here and goes flat. Here's the minus 2, and so it will touch here, rather. And here's the minus 1, this is a 0. And here it will go down, cross the x-axis and go down here. From here it will go down here. So here is the 2, and this is x over a. So this is the plot for v versus x. Part e of the problem, for x much, much greater than a, uh, we can write potential will be approximately equal to minus k q divided by x over x squared. So canceling x, x, we get minus k divided by q, minus k times q divided by x, sorry which is the same as potential for a point charge minus Q. Far from a two charges, they appear to be a point charge with a charge that is algebraic sum of the two charges.